Okay, this is a tutorial on replacing the screen on this Toshiba satellite. I don't even remember the model number. C55 C5241 laptop. This one was dropped and has some damage to the screen. And we're going to get right to it. So, the first thing to do is reveal the screws that hold the bezel on. If you look carefully in the lower left corner and the lower right corner, there are two little dots here. These are just stick-on plastic pieces that you can remove with a flat tip screwdriver, like so, to reveal the Phillips head screws underneath. With a Phillips screwdriver, just remove these two screws. One, two, and then the real fun part, getting this bezel off. The bezel is held on with a series of plastic catches around the edge. I usually take a small flat tip screwdriver, insert it near where the screw was, this one's too big, and very gently pry the plastic up. There, it's starting to go. Pop. Pop. Come on. Pop. You can feel each point of resistance and you just insert the screwdriver a little below that point and it'll just release. Now there's a camera in the top. I don't want to damage that, so I'm being very gentle up here. There we go. Yep, let go the whole top that time. Turn it the other way. Pop. Come on. Pop. Gentle. You can use a plastic tool for this, but I've always just been kind of lazy and used a metal screwdriver. And there's the bezel. Came right off. So here's the screen. We're going to switch back to a Phillips. There are four small screws, small black screws, that hold the screen in, one on each corner, three and four. We're just going to remove those. One, two, They've got a little Loctite on them, but they're not in there too snug. And four. Okay. Now the screen will fold down. Being very gentle here not to damage this connector. On the back you can see this small... Yeah. See this small connector that's held down with a piece of tape, which I'm going to gently remove. And then there's another piece of tape, which I have to pry up. Come on. And then this will just slide right out like that. And there's one broken laptop screen. Okay, and we're back. I'm going to reinstall the new screen, which is way over here. Here's the new screen. The new screen appears to have a protective plastic film on it. I'm going to leave that on until I've got it fully installed. And sure enough, it's missing the magnet. On the old screen, in the top right corner here, there's a small piece, there's a small magnet, a little rare earth magnet, just glued onto the edge. Looks like it's held on with some tape. It's right near the top right. metal flange that holds the screen into the whoop, into the case. So all I did was drop that onto that same spot on the laptop. It seems to be stuck to something inside of that screen. And we're back. Everything else looks identical. So, step one, we're just going to place the screen down. Step two is going to be reattaching this little sliding connector. There she goes. Click. Okay. Tape it down.
down. Where's my other piece of tape? Tape it down again. You can feel it click home as you get it seated. Make sure the camera is set in properly so I don't get it in the way. There we go. Hold this up. Make sure the holes in the flanges line up, and they do. And then reinstall four little black screws. There's that magnet. Grab that screw for me. One. Two. Gentle, gentle. fingerprints all over everything, reinstall this bezel. Most of this will just clip on, let's get it lined up right, clip, 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 you can feel the screws engaging, camera's in the right spot, come on, clip, and just snap right back in there, little plastic clippies. two screws that hold the bezel on. One. Two. And take these little plastic things that I removed at the beginning and stick them right back to those screw heads. Cover up the holes. One and two. And it's as simple as that. <laughs>